Alicia, you're back here ready to make your comeback on the single side of things. How, what are the feelings before you start? Well, I've had a couple of games, uh, matches of doubles now, and I'm really excited to begin my singles campaign. I and mean, that's sort of more or less what I've been training for. Um, I'm up against an opponent tomorrow that I've never heard of, which isn't uh, uncommon in these events. There's a lot of names that I'm not familiar with, but um, look, I'm striking the ball really well. I feel, um, feel like I'm dealing with the conditions pretty well. It's pretty hot and humid here in Darwin. But last time I was here on the 16-unders, I, I was undefeated, so coming in with a winning record, which is a good thing. When did you make the decision to come back? I was probably around April. I was doing a lot of coaching, a lot of hitting. Um, I was feeling pretty good physically. I wasn't um, under any pain or strain or um, my elbow condition had um, obviously gone and I wasn't suffering any pain there. So um, I was just really enjoying my tennis, being back out on the court, being very competitive with the girls that I was practicing with, hitting with. Um, when you have that competitive spirit, um, you know, you're always searching for more and I was keen and eager, um, excited to be on the court every day. It was never a chore, so I thought this is a pretty this is a pretty good sign. It's an unusual sign, so I thought, look, I'm going to give it one more crack and, and see where it takes me. Obviously playing for different reasons now. I'm just really enjoying my tennis. Um, I'm proud of what I've achieved in the sport and just feel like I can still get a little bit more out of it. Did you have time where you, you didn't play at all? Yeah, absolutely. A good sort of five months where I never picked up a racket. I didn't think I'd ever play again. Look, I've, I've played on the tour 10 years. I've had a lot of injuries, a lot of injury breaks. Um, and those take their toll physically and particularly over a 10, 12 year period, they take their toll mentally. Um, I've had to come back from so many injuries over the course of my career and um, there comes a point where that becomes pretty tiring. Um, it's always difficult getting yourself back up all the time. So, um, you know, I really appreciate every day now that I feel good, I feel healthy and, you know, I love learning. I feel like I'm a student of the game. I like trying to improve every day. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what I base my decision around. And now you're back into tournament mode. Has it been easy to click straight back in? Uh, yeah, it has actually, because I feel like I've prepared quite well. I've sort of been preparing physically and preparing mentally too, watching a lot of matches. Even though I started off playing doubles in the United States, um, I was out practicing a lot of singles with the girls and watching a lot of matches. I think you get so much out of watching girls play, even here. Now, I don't know a lot of my opponents, but I've been out scouting who I play tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> it's probably a bit ridiculous, but um, I think it's all part of professional tennis, and that's sort of um, never been a chore for me. I think it's just part and parcel. Well, excellent. There's a lot of people excited. I think you're back and good luck over the coming matches and, and months. Thanks very much. Well, Mum's certainly excited, so that's, that's a good thing. But oh, I'm excited too. I'm just um, excited to, to see where I can get to and, and what I can achieve and, and who I can beat. That's, that's all ahead of me and, um, yeah, I just I hope for the best. I'll be giving it my best. One more then. You've been said you've been watching the Open. You've been watching someone who's doing a similar thing to you in, in Kim Kleist. Does, does she inspire you at all? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The difference is I haven't had a kid and <laughs> and I haven't won a Grand Slam before. I mean, she was number one too in the world when she stopped playing tennis. I think a lot of us forget that. I was at a different level when I when I stopped playing tennis. I wasn't quite up there. But um, I think it's fantastic that someone can go away from the game and come back and be successful. I don't think having a break. I mean, you never drastically lose your hit hitting ability. I think it takes time obviously to get your fitness back and your movement and, and all the reactions and um, I mean that takes time but it just proves that uh, once a great player always a great player and it's certainly something that Kim's shown us. Well good luck, all the best. Thank you. Ta.